See Lindelof videos. Using your TI Inspire calculator to solve probabilities, part three. Um, I've said in the beginning of every single one of these videos, you have to already know how to do probabilities. Before you can do this, you have to already know how to set the problem up. But if you know how to set the problem up, this makes it so fast. So let's uh, take a look at this really quickly. I got this problem off of a public domain called I mean, CUDA software or something. Anyway, it says a jar contains 10 black buttons and six brown buttons. If nine buttons are picked at random, what's the probability that exactly five of them are black? So you might want to kind of jot that down as a note if you want to. Stop the video. So let's take a look at this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do just this. I'm going to went to my home screen. I chose calculator. I didn't choose calculate from the scratch pad, right? Anyway, so here's the problem, right? It is actually this easy. Hit control, division, gives you a fraction, a big fraction bar. You can put stuff in there, right? So I'm going to go to menu, choose probability. From probability, I'm going to choose a combination. And then I want to choose exactly five black ones. So it says that there are 10 of them, so I need to choose all five black ones. Choose five black ones, right? Right, remember that we're going to choose nine buttons total, so then times the probability, uh, times the number of combinations of, of six, pick four, right? Because I need a total of nine, so six, pick four. So it's not a, now it's a probability, right? And remember, there were 16 total, so probability, combination. There were 16 total buttons to pick from and that we are going to choose a total of nine of them so that's how many things could happen and then we just hit enter and there's your answer if your professor or your teacher wants it in a percentage form then it's really easy to do you just hit control and hit the enter button if you see over the enter button there's the approximation sign and that is the exact answer that you are supposed to get so i hope this is really helpful again um you have to know how to set the problem up. So I'm not trying to suggest I'm teaching you how to set the problem up. What I am showing you is how to do the keystrokes and how to do this very, very quickly. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate it.